In this hour-long interview, Robert talks to Simon Jacobson of Microsoft. Simon is a passionate digital marketing leader with over 15 years experience across all corners of the industry. With his experience running teams and digital advertising programs on the advertiser, agency and big technology provider sides of the industry, Simon currently works as UK business lead at Microsoft Advertising, promoting the benefits of the ever-growing Microsoft Advertising Network to ambitious agencies and advertisers across the UK. In this interview, Robert and Simon discuss the state of play with agencies right now during the COVID-19 crisis, plus much more. Hello and welcome to the Guide to Talks podcast. And today I am absolutely delighted to have with us Simon Jacobson from Microsoft Advertising. He is the UK business lead. Hello, Simon. Hi, Robert. Thanks for having me. It's an absolute pleasure. So without further ado, can you just give us a couple of sentences to describe what UK business lead at Microsoft Advertising actually means? Uh, Yeah, absolutely. So um, we have a a number of different business leads across our business. And uh, for me, I look after the the SMB business, which is essentially uh, everything that is not in the uh, enterprise or account managed uh, side of our business. Uh, So that's uh, a lot of the agencies that that you will be um, that you will be kind of sending this out to, uh, and also within our our kind of wider small business and startup community, a lot of direct advertisers, a lot of fast growing uh, direct advertisers as well. So uh, I, I represent the, uh, the the small guy, and 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 hopefully uh, hopefully that will come across today as well. So what does that what does that mean? Looking after. Uh, looking off, so I, I'm essentially responsible for ensuring that we make the right investments across sales, uh, across service, uh, and across our our, um, our solutions areas. Uh, so, are, are our agency customers getting the right exposure from our engineering teams? Are our products uh, set up to incorporate the feedback of our agencies in the UK? Are our startup businesses able to uh, to to onboard as quickly and as effectively as possible. So end to end, that's that's obviously uh, the revenue growth, but it's with this mindset that where our customers win, we will win, uh, and that's that's kind of like how I like to kind of approach my job. And and what is the um, what's what's the potted potted history? What's what's the background to, to, for you to end up where you are today? Yeah, um, it's it's an interesting one because it's an interesting. Uh, role within uh, within Microsoft advertising uh, and certainly within publisher side um, i 've had a, a diverse background but it 's kind of always been centered around digital media and, and predominantly search so i 've spent a bit of time on the agency side looking after uh, managing um, large accounts before uh, moving into uh, managing teams um, i 've done that across the the network agency side. Uh, as well as uh, the ind- small independent agency. Um, I spent a bit of time on the consultancy side. Uh, and then prior to uh, joining Microsoft about five years ago, I was, uh, I was working on the customer success side uh, at a, uh, a search management platform. So um, I, I feel that I have a kind of diverse background with regard to, to search. And that gives me a, 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 an opinion, I should say, but uh, hopefully a, a perspective on um you know the customer at the heart of of those areas and and how we can support customers to grow their businesses considering their end users so we're we're recording this at the at the end of may uh the end of may 2020 let's be absolutely clear and it has been um two or three months like no one's ever seen before and uh i i i'd be fascinated to know what what you've seen and 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 how you've seen agencies respond to to what's been going on yeah look make no mistake this has been the most challenging time that any of us in in our wider industry industry have have seen um and experienced and and you know approaching it from a day one versus day whatever we are now. Um, I think that the constant has been throughout that is that this will not last forever. 
Um, but the mindset of going through, you know, the day one course correction, understanding the, the shock to our, our customers and, and our customers' businesses uh, and our agent, you know, just, just seeing how our agencies have reacted, certainly in the UK, um, right the way through to now where we're reading the, the signs of, of recovery and seeing some really excellent uh, uncovering of opportunity. That journey has, it's difficult to believe that that's been, you know, two, two and a half months already. Um, so I, I would say what we've seen is, is the shock. I think now we're starting to look at, uh, from a macro point of view and from a one-to-one -one customer and agency point of view, signs of, of that recovery uh, and where some of that recovery will come from. And I mean recovery in terms of, you know, activity, dialing up activities, searching for demand, moving away from that hibernation into that kind of pivoting and emerging stage. Um, businesses sort of rethinking uh, some of the ways that they were doing things and, and what that looks like in terms of their account structures and account setups. And really, for us as, a, as an organization and for me as an individual, I've taken it as, as let's serve these customers and these partners and these agencies, let's give them what they need to uncover the right opportunities for future growth in their own businesses, uh, rather than saying, okay, we've really got to, you know, flip the switch on this and, and treat this as, as, a, uh, as, a, as an immediate course correction, because there just isn't a, a remedy uh, out there. Oh, well, there might be a, a vaccine might, might, might force a better shape but there isn't a remedy out there that's going to turn this industry from where it is now into into what it was three months ago but there's so there's, there's two two questions i want to ask the first one is uh what are you seeing the the really good agency what what are the what are the really good practices that you've seen and the second thing is uh about your optimism for a recovery so let's just do let's just do the um what is it that you're seeing that the really good agencies have done in order to deal with what's going on i think the really good agencies many of them have had the same attitude as they had prior to uh to this scenario uh, should we call it so whether that be you know generating awareness of a piece of market insight um uncovering how trends may have changed how covid may have changed certain verticals and in certain industries or certain customer types um and feeding that back into the industry no no you know no affiliation yes you know you could say that's a that's a lead gen tactic and a smart one as well. But I think at the back of that, it is, you know, really kind of giving value back uh, to others. And, you know, we get a bit of this, uh, you know, there's no shortage of, of insights going around the industry right now. There's no shortage of, you know, how smart marketers can recover from a, from a pandemic or, or what you should be doing now. But I think the good agencies to answer your question are the ones that continue to serve. They continue to act as a partner on behalf of their customers and, and share what they learn as an agency. I mean, let's be honest, agencies have a really unique position to play in this market because they're going to be the ones that help the, the market recover. Um, so, so to create that advantage by being a trusted partner, being someone who is, you know, someone or, or a, a, an organization that's, you know, all think, always thinking, always learning, always looking to, to better um, their customers' business, I think that will put them in a in an advantageous spot. 